Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome to the uh, 25 Days of Linux, a uh, video series in which I'm attempting to make a video every single day for the month of December. Uh, I can't make any promises as to the quality of the videos, but there will be a lot of them. The idea here is uh, just to uh, tackle slightly smaller projects, little things that are Linux related and that I think will be interesting for people but that aren't a 20 to 30 minute long video the way that some of my videos can be. As a great start for that, uh, today I want to create a directory creation script. Uh, this is the kind of thing that I'm pretty sure I've done before on my YouTube channel. Basically the idea is every time I'm working on a video, uh, there's a directory that I set up in order to store all of those project files and it's pretty simple. I have a, a folder structure where I'm storing assets, I have a template for a video editor project that I want to uh, copy over I have assets that I need to link to that sort of thing generally speaking I just create this manually it's not very hard to do on the command line you know you just uh, make the year make a few folders uh, give them names and everything and then you copy over one or two files and you're good to go but uh, things could always be simpler and easier so that's where we're going here so all of that being said we can go and create a new script here so I'm gonna go into that scripts directory and uh, once we're in our uh, dot scripts directory what I'm gonna do is I'll create a new script and I'm just gonna call it uh, we'll do uh, maybe new uh, you could add a shell extension if you want you could really add any extension here I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter but uh, you don't need a file extension so I typically don't do one and we can go ahead and run chmod plus X on that script and that will make it executable uh, so from there uh, we can go ahead and go into that script uh, with a text header and I'm using vim and the first thing you need to do is create a shebang there are several different ways that you do this uh, the way that I normally write it is like this uh, I've talked about this in a few different videos before uh, but basically what we're doing is we're linking to where the bash program is stored on our system uh, linking to it this way is supposed to be very portable which means that the script should be able to run on Linux Mac OS BSD all of those now there's no reason Reason you couldn't do shebang slash bin slash bash or some other variation of that uh, I've just always been told that this particular way of writing it is supposed to be more portable and my scripts work on Mac OS they work on every Linux distribution I've tried and I haven't really tried them on FreeBSD too much but I assume they would work there as well once you have done that we can go ahead and start to create a script what I want this script to do is a couple of things first of all I want it to make a directory with a title uh, and then inside of that I want it to make a few more directories uh, that we will call like a roll B roll a couple other things maybe uh, and then I'll want it to like uh, copy over a uh, premiere template so we can kind of go from there operating as our basis so in order to make this script useful at all what we need to do is we need to take an input from the command line uh, that's going to be basically the name of our project uh, so the way that we can do that is the first command that we'll make is we'll say make dear variable one so we can do dollar sign one and if we want to go ahead and exit and test that, we can. Uh, so if we run this new script here, nothing is going to actually happen. It will give us an error message, and that's because it's expecting an input. So if we run this again and we say new and we call this uh, test and we go ahead and open up our file manager here, you can see we have a new empty directory called test. That's exactly what we want. So we can go ahead and delete that so we can keep going here. And the other thing that I should mention is because we're not really specifying a location, we're just sort of operating based on where the script is run. If we were to like go into our home directory as we are here and go ahead and run new, give it the name, we'll say real test. And then we open up a file explorer. You can see it's still creating that new directory. It's just doing it from where whatever location we run the script in. That's how I want this to work. So we'll keep it going from there. Go back into the uh, new script here. And uh, once we're inside of this directory, let's go ahead and just create a couple of new ones. So to do that, we'll have to uh, CD into that directory. So we can literally just type in CD into variable one and it will put in that exact same input. So now we're CDing into that folder we just created. And what we could do is here is let's say, make a new directory and we'll make one called a roll. We'll make one called a thumb where we can store some thumbnail info and we'll make another folder called project. If we want to just go ahead and test it real quick, that's really easy to do. Got a test folder, a couple new directories in there, looking good. And it's going to get slightly complex here, but basically what I want to do is I want to CD into the A roll folder. And uh, maybe we can just get a little bit of separation between these so it'll be easier to keep up with. Uh, so we'll CD into the A roll folder. And then inside of this folder, what we want to do is we want to make a directory called, we'll say image motion 
and audio. Oh, and by the way, the reason that this works and it's creating multiple directories is uh, just basically when you're operating on the command line, unless you tell it not to, it's gonna assume that a space is like ending that statement and going on to the next one. You can surround uh, this in quotes if you want to and uh, create a folder that's called like a roll yo. I'm pretty sure that would work. Let's find out real quick. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that will work. Which actually, now that I think about it, what that means that we could do is try to surround that uh, variable in quotes, and maybe this would allow us to create a folder that's like a multi-word folder. So we could say like new and say hello world, something like that. And if we come in, hello world, hey, yeah, nice, 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 nice. Anyways, once we've created all of those uh, broken down directories in the A-roll folder, we can just CD and dot dot is always going to take us one directory back. Handy little trick. And uh, once we've done that, I'm going to copy dash RF A-roll to B-roll. And what this should do is it's gonna force us to copy and the dash R is saying recursively, so copy the folders as well. Make a copy of A roll and call it B roll. So uh, you can probably guess what that's gonna do and uh, it'd probably be a good idea to make sure that we actually do know what we're doing and this is working correctly here. So let's go ahead and run new and we'll say, uh, let's call this uh, 25 days of Linux. Come in here, 25 days of Linux, we've got a new folder A-roll, new folder B-roll, both of those are broken down with an audio image and motion folder inside of them, a project folder as well, and a thumbnail folder as well. And we've actually already accomplished two of the goals that we set forward here. In order to hit that third goal, what I wanna do is I wanna copy over Premiere Pro template uh, to put inside of that project folder that we created. Uh, so a little bit the, about the way that I have my Linux system set up. If I open up a file explorer, inside of my awesome window manager setup, uh, and also DWM, and it happens automatically in Solus because of the way that the drives are set up, anytime I launch a desktop environment or a window manager, the drive, this drive right here, Falcon Files, is uh, automatically mounted to slash mnt slash falcon files. The cool thing about this drive is it's not where I store like all of the archives for all of my projects, but it's like sort of a backup of the archives. The main reason that it's here is because it stores branding for all my YouTube channels. So I've got like images here. You can see it's sort of the branding for a lot of the imagery on my YouTube channel. Got audio, little pieces of music that I use. Uh, and I've also got the uh, intros. There it is. Uh, but importantly, what I have here are two files that I basically always use to create any project uh, that I need to be in the actual folder where I create them. All of these assets are already linked to in the Premiere Pro project, so I don't need to like copy them over to that directory. In fact, it's better that I don't because of the way that they're linked. If I ever update the end card or the intro or anything else, they're automatically repopulated inside of my Premiere Pro project because they use the exact same file names. So now that we understand where these files are, we can link them. So let's go back into the old scripts directory. Let's go back into that new script. And what I wanna do is copy from slash mmt slash falcon files slash branding slash template dot prproj, which is the Premiere Pro uh, file extension. And I wanna copy that into period, which is gonna be right here where we are right now. So we're gonna copy that right there. We're gonna go ahead and make a copy of that move it down one line and I want to change from using that template to let's copy over the comment dot text file. Okay. And uh, the reason that I have them on two separate lines is I also want to rename the Premiere Pro template, which is pretty easy to do. We're going to use the move command and we're going to move template dot P R P R O J. And we're going to move it to, you're going to love this variable one dot P R P R O J. And I might have to jack around with the formatting a little bit here, but let's go ahead and do a test creating a folder and a project name with two words instead of one to see if we can break it. So we'll go ahead and clear that out. Make sure we don't have a test folder in here already. We do not. So we can go ahead and create a new directory here with our new script called, uh, let's say Jeff Bezos went to fake space. Go ahead and run it. No error messages, that's always a good sign. Go ahead and take a look at our file explorer here. And this is our new project. Jeff Bezos went to fake space. And hey, actually everything worked great. I wasn't sure about the formatting with the Premiere Pro project name, but you can see here, got a new folder, A-roll, B-roll, already linked up, project folder. Oh, we actually wanna put the uh, 
Premiere Pro project in that folder. That was kind of dumb. We can fix that in a second. But the important thing here is you can see uh, the name of our project has already been applied to our Premiere Pro template. So delete that new directory and try and fix that little bug real quick. So we'll go back into that new script. And uh, instead of moving it into the directory where we are right now, we're going to want to put it in slash project. And instead of being able just just to move the template, what we need to do in between that is we need to CD into uh, project and then at the end CD back out. OK, one more try here. We're going to see what happens new and we're going to call this. Uh, I should have made a team sees video. Give it a look. Here we go. New directory. All the directories we need set up inside of it. Inside of our project folder, a Premiere Pro template ready to rock. Comment, text file ready for us to manipulate. We're all set. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay. Thank you everybody for watching this video. Uh, I hope you uh, enjoyed it and maybe learned a little bit of something. If you're looking to do some sort of similar scripting situation, I'm not really great at writing scripts, but little things like this are super handy and are not at all difficult to make. If I can make them, I definitely anybody watching them can make them. So uh, that is going to be it for this particular video. Thank you everyone for watching and be sure to check back tomorrow for uh, more of these little quicker videos. If you're interested, there's going to be one every day for the month of December up until well, the end, or I guess only 25 days, not the whole month, but whatever. We'll figure it out along the way. Thank you everybody for watching. See you in the next one.